everyone, Laura with We Met Why Work and More, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these really lovely little shard, crystal shard uh, pendants. And um, this is in response to Zane, who asked me in my previous video if these could be made using crystals without holes. And yes, they absolutely can. So I'm going to take you through that process today. In the meantime, while I have you, I'd like to say thanks so much for popping by and having a look at what I'm doing. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you get the notifications. And if you want to watch my other video, I will leave that link up here at some point during the video. So let's get going. So the materials we are using for our pendant is a silver coated aluminum wire and we have a little crystal shard here and I know you're saying Laura there's a hole in this one um, but uh, some of these I couldn't get off of the string so I ended up having to cut them off and they're really not usable for anything else after we do that so use them up this way it's a really great way um, to make sure that um, you're using your materials smartly we have a pair of snips, we have a couple pair of jewelry pliers, and these ones, once again, do not have teeth on them, so they are non-scarring, and they are um, less likely to break your wire on you. So to start off, I'm going to take approximately an arm length of our silver wire, going to fold it in half and it can be super slippery so I just give it a pull by holding on to the end. Oops. Lost an end there. Okay, once again I'm giving it a pull. So then we end up with our little loop at the end and then that we flatten out as much as possible it doesn't have to be perfect so this is what we're going for all right now we take our round nose pliers and we just start to curl this a little bit so we're making a coil is what we're doing and our crystal is going to sit in this coil at the bottom. So you probably have to adjust it a fair bit once you actually have your crystal set into that. And I try and do, you know, a few layers or a few coils so that it sits further up on our crystal point and then pop it in there kind of gives you a size gives you an idea of how well it's going to fit in there once again I said this wire is super slippery okay, nice little coil there see that Pop it in here. Hold it firmly as well as best you can. As well as you can. Try and get it as tight as possible. This is adjustable once our project is finished. And then just bring it up to the top. And now at the top I'm going to do a couple of a couple of loops or coils pretty close together and then taking my round pliers I'm going to create a loop 
try and keep it as wires as close together as possible. Hold it onto that nice and firm. We're going to try and keep our wires together for starters. Just keep a couple of wraps around there. And then we can start to wind back down our shard. Now at this point, this junction, we want to decide what is going to be the front of our crystal. And I do like this because we do have a bit of a gap in here. So then we're just going to start to manipulate this coming around, flattening out that wire, coming around, I'm going to do this circle the opposite direction as this one that we did here, bringing it around. And then we can finish it off at the bottom of our coil. Now alternately you could take those end bits and you could curl them along the back or somewhere else along the front of it. Personally, I don't like to curl them on the back because that's when you get snagging on your clothing. So then we just straighten this out a little bit. And then I'm going to turn this. And then I'm going to open these up so that our bale has two distinct loops. And just like that we have wrapped our crystal point. So thanks Zane for asking that question. Um, I know a lot of us don't know what to do with our crystals and our rocks that don't have holes in them. So this is a really great solution. It's a really great project um, so that we can use them. And they're really beautiful. They're really, really very beautiful. So for now, this is Laura with We Met Wire Work and More. And I thank you for popping by and checking things out. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and check back often to see what it is that I get up to. In the meantime, have a fabulous day, and I will talk to you soon.